In this video, which is my first YouTube video of 2021, I like to share with you some ideas on planning an elopement this year. But first of all, I'd like to wish you a happy new year. Times have changed and with the still ongoing health crisis of COVID-19, there will be long lasting effects on the wedding industry in more ways than one. According to an article on What Elf, the most significant effects is the shift to intimate weddings. In the next few years, more and more weddings will be accommodating smaller guest count and will therefore become more intimate. Although much of the world is already trying to adjust to the new normal, it will become imperative for all of us to go on with our daily lives with as much caution as possible. And of course, this should apply to weddings as well. Another viable reason why more and more couples would opt for intimate weddings would be because it's a no-brainer way to cut the cost. Each additional guest on the list will mean more money to spend and truth be told, as of this moment, that's not ideal for many brides and grooms out there. However, the term elopement still carries a negative connotation to some people. And until today, it's associated with lovers going off the grid and finding the first chapel they can find to exchange their I do's. And while this might have been the case way back then, elopements have changed. Today, elopements entail having an intimate wedding as opposed to having a big grandiose celebration. Still, just because an elopement is a toned down event, it doesn't mean you can't make it luxurious. Since you're not going to be commenting tons of guests, you can allocate your budget to details like your dream location or your dream dress. So here are some tips on planning a luxury elopement you may want to take note of. As mentioned in my previous video, weddings versus elopements, choosing a location nearby lets you avoid distances and flying if you're planning on eloping in the near future. But if you have plans on having it later on this year or next year, it doesn't hurt to look into booking your dream destination. After all, your elopement doesn't happen every day, so you might as well have it at a prime spot. If you want to be surrounded by jaw-dropping natural beauty, you can look into Lake Como in northern Italy, a gorgeous area situated in the Lombardy region, or else Lake Tahoe in California. If you want to be in the presence of beaches, rainforests, the perfect place for you could be Kauai, Punta Mita, Mexico, or even Southern California. Don't hesitate to splurge on your dress. Just because the event is primary going to only be between the two of you, it doesn't mean that you can't wear the dress of your dreams. You want to wear the dress you feel most beautiful and comfortable in, even if you're only dressing up for you, your partner, and for the photos. When choosing your ideal outfit, pick one that doesn't only look gorgeous on the hanger, but on your body too, and most importantly, one that you feel great in. Finding the cut that flatters your figure will lead you to discover the dress that you look and feel absolute best in. Plan a private post elopement party. The whole point of eloping is relishing the just us between you and your partner or maybe with a few selected friends and family. You may want to extend it by having a private post elopement party. Spending time alone together after your wedding can make it extra memorable. Maybe a private dinner, overlooking a beach, or doing some wine tasting together. So don't just think of hosting a ceremony for your elopement and then call it quits. I like to think of an elopement as the whole day from the morning to the evening doing things you love to do together as a couple. Of course, just like a traditional wedding, you'll want to be prepared for the entire romantic night. Since you've already chosen the perfect dress, go all out and choose the right garment underneath as well. The perfect piece can make you feel beautiful and confident in your own skin. For such a special occasion, lace never fails to make you feel more gorgeous in your own skin, which helps making the day extra romantic and intimate. And the night, one you'll remember forever. 
You can schedule a bridal boudoir session as well on the day of your elopement when you're getting ready and then surprise your new hubby with the photos. To immortalize the occasion, you'll also want to book the right photographer that is capable of capturing the best moments. As you're going all out anyway, it pays to have the best in the industry, ideally one that has an impressive portfolio and shoots similar to the style that you like best. The last thing you want is to shell out so much money for your special day and not have some beautiful photos to look back. So make sure you choose your photographer wisely. It's probably the most important decision for an elopement. If you're planning on eloping in 2021 or 2022 and you're still feeling a bit overwhelmed or don't have a clue where to start, I invite you to join my new five-day online workshop, Kickstart Your Elopement. In just five days, you'll go from feeling overwhelmed and clueless where to start to feeling confident as you define your vision for your elopement, one that is uniquely you. I'll give you creative ideas on finding your ideal location, show you how to choose the perfect colors and design, and also create a unique wedding theme for you. You'll learn how to incorporate your vision into every detail from your dress to your flowers, your shoes, and venue. If you're interested, you can get on the waitlist by signing up in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.